Okay, so. Already got not pretty far, but I want to say like halfway through the game. But that was a while ago, so let's just. Where is it? We'll restart. You want to skip this scroll? Let's say no. Just so we get a uh, refresher for how things go. Hey, it's Dewey's. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home. And have room to breathe, and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. It's a pretty small castle. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. A city of dreamers. Century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car, 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting. 6th and Industrial Street. It is 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. This is, uh, Here we go again. They don't request the uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. We passed it. Have you got a death wish? There we go. This is your we drive on the left side of the road. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton. A Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys totally. to try and recover the gag. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm places here. to be. Happy hunting. The guy in the background looked like Nick Nolte. The this is a fist the, hump. The, the brown just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Oh, yeah. With that whole uh, corruption monologue earlier. Just like, 
you run up to behind your partner and you pull the gun and you're like, it was me the whole time. Look at this junk. Cap. I'm stumped. Ideas? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. How do you click on it? I can feel it vibrating. Oh, it's not my job to pick through other people's oh, trash. Junk. Junk. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? The perpetrator liked soda. Jesus. Very Cole, unusual. come take a look at this. No one's ever liked soda before. <gasps> Another soda. This guy's a freaking addict. Don't think this is anything. I tell you, I'm jinxed. Got I always get landed with this crap. Never gonna find Adventure. it, it's a waste of time. Adventure is out there. Up. Oh, how do you run? Ominous. Oh, there we go. That's how you run. Or jog. You just make sure to step all over the crime scene, contaminate everything. There we go. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Draw a little bit tic tac toe. Less water stains in the recessed doorway. On alleyway floor. Blah 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 blah. So we gotta walk around some more. Hmm. He's Ralph, a gun. there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? Reflection in the window. Superpowers. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. Oh. NYPD, open up. <laughs> the gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Doesn't tell me anything. It might. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Um. Well. Also, this is the most unrealistic thing. Who in the Who in the world could actually climb a pole like that? Like, oh yeah, he's getting ready for his second job. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Smith and Wesson, serial S seven one eight nine three. Smith and Wesson, American made. Two, Two rounds fired. fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. It's because he's still here. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. Uh, um, we have the gun, Cole. Don't. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Hey, yo. We just gotta make the way back to the car. I feel like. We're... Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. Like no harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little Boy Scout, Cole. 
the suits. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Shotgun, or reverse shotgun. There we go. Sell ammo. This is back when America used to mean something. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No. I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Yeah, back before they did DNA. They're like, oh, here's a piece of edit. Model 27 with mind, pearl uh, grips, Cole. Hands all over you see it, it on there? Model 27 with pearl grips, 25, 14, 17, nickel, no, walnut grip. So here we got 20, 27, pearl grip. We're in tap, luck, tap. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street, tap. ordered the gun tap. in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Uh-huh. Wipe the smirk off your face. Oh, I, I can't pull my gun out. Oh, man. All right. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Oh, there we go. Gunga Den? What the hell is that even mean? All right. So now we gotta do a... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind yeah, murder weapon so. bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on. Watch it! Okay. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. 
We can, we can do it. We can do straight. it. Straight. Keep it straight. What's so goddamn hard about that? Oh, There's a guard. There's a little lip. There we go. Oh. Moxley's. Always look both ways, kids. Always look both ways. There you go. That's right. Officer of the law, you wait for me to get out of the road, pal. That's right, what are you gonna do? She tried. All right. I can see the box so slow. There we go. Inspect mailbox. Schroeder's number. Schroeder, apartment two. Hey, it's apartment two. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. <gasps> what the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, oh, tough oh, guy? This, I remember huh? this part. Yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, skull fracture. Give him a concussion. Dang, that's a lot of blood. Dang. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. That guy knocked you out cold. Don't try to keep an eye on him, Ralph. Me. I'm gonna take a look around. if I do. It is a book of dates and names and ages, it looks like. Lots of names, dates, and ages. List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. No, Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you schlong. found it. Uh, stick your schlong. No, Officer no, Phelps, badge 1247. Uh, give me a Philly cheesesteak while you're at it. Schlong. 
trains. America's elitist means of public transportation. It's not just a car, it's Ford. <laughs> You dumb fucking sons of bitches! Get in this line now before I lose my temper! Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig! Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe! I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no sitting on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. On the ground now. Uh, you'll never take me, Cap. Ah! Oh, getting hammered here, Phelps. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. Shut up, man. Sounds too nice. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Oh, Backup will be here I soon. I know where you're gonna be later. In a casket. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to. Chance, copper. Find some cover. How? That's not fair. How come he could shoot through the railing? We got him all. I think we got him, Cole. Should be all oh, clear. No. We didn't get them all. I, oh man, I wanted to. Shoot Lieutenant them Hopkins bus. says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Eh, 
Eh, you can ask for a better partner. Ralph seems like a wimp. Stick by the face. Oh, don't pull out your gun. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? Keep accidentally, like... You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? You know, you just can't get along with some people. The Brown Derby. Eh, yeah, Hollywood, potion number 43. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't Keep discuss religion nice. or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. Look at this guy. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh, shit. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Wow, he could have helped, pal. He's hiding in the alley! Bowers! Hold it right there! Stop Jesus, now or I will Jesus, shoot! Jesus. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug! Watch your fire! Yeah, it's you don't want like, to do oh, this, come Wendell. On, stupid. Stupid. Get down from there right now! There. Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! Man, this guy... There's no way I'm going back inside. Yeah, there's no way that an average middle-aged balding man I've like done you my is time. that agil agilic? agility. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Agility, uh, compensative. Like, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Oh, please. He's gonna suck your punch. Ah! Ah! Looks like totally we've got that. the place to ourselves. Look at that sleazy snake. Give it up, Wendell! Yes, yeah, right. It's over, Bowers! Bastard. Killed him. Stay down, bitch. <laughs> Ah! Ooh, I just how you doing, banged Wendell? His head against the imaginary Your parole table officer's episode. feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Iron nice work, Cole. You run track in high school. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight, Donahoe, six, Kowalski, six, Hudson, five, Kelso, two, leadership, Donahoe, eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one.
Canada Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! There's the case that it's makes you, gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as a shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Hey. Hey. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. There's no way they called an ambulance and the okay, police. Okay, stand further They're back and move best. along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. Oh. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Ooh, homicide. Gross. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. A crowded street. I've seen everything. Open his mouth. Open his mouth. Okay, well I was just fine. Just check for a couple bucks. C. Galetta. Playway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Hands. It seems the man is... Sapien. Or Homo Sapien. Whatever. Ap open, open his pocket. All right, yes, it's a dead person. There's a little sparkling thing over here. Bullets. Shell casings. These look like 32s. There's gonna be... <gasps> oh no, it's a gun! Also, look at how filthy that trash can is. Look, that's like almost entirely food you can see in there. Like, how often do these trash cans get dumped out? Like, gross people. Anyway. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. I should probably... Oh, I guess... Is there not a... I guess there isn't a save option. I remember this is like the first time uh, we can I, can I help you, sir? This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? He was my boss, Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Dumb name. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Mr. Gage, Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. 
I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> She's full of crap. Look at her faking it. Look at that. Look at that. She's trying to probe us. She's worrying. She's thinking. She's trying to see if like we're buying it. Look innocent. Just yell at her. It's, uh... It's, I guess, uh... Accuse? You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. Look at those dead fish eyes. How can you prove different? Ooh, I got ahead of myself. Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop earrings. obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Who would take a loan out Edgar for Kalu. earrings and pay off? He like, runs the jewelry like, store. I get the, like... He's showing me a lovely watch. Like, Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu like, gets very earrings. angry with Mr. Gage, and they start like yelling at year. each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Well... Duh, he got shot. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. Kalu. He kept like firing the, the gun. The he kept Kai pulling the trigger. Kai he threw the gun in a bin Kai and turned funny. and walked away. The guy who's like the worst behaved kid in, like ever. Look look her eyes, her facial features like that. She's totally making things up. She doesn't actually remember. You're making me angry, Miss Coletta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Wait, which one was the Jew? The guy who got shot or the guy who shot him? Gay, whatever. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many and they were so loud. We need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. Yeah. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Never mind. Earrings. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. The ones you've been paying a year for... Kind of earrings are worth that. They better, like, wash your car and clean your shoes for that much. Oh, wait, shoes. Hey, talk about a situational, I don't know, irony or whatever the term is. So where's this other witness? We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Tate, maintain the perimeter. I'm thinking I should talk to that other witness first. Who was it? Sir. All these cops? It's gotta be something big, right? Okay, I guess, I 
guess not. Come on, I got friends who work at the Examiner. How about 50 bucks? Don't you people have anything better to do? Okay. So now, oh, oh, yeah. Just slyly step over the body. Ammo, guns, sporting goods. Guns, guns, more guns. Pow, Officer, pow, pow, pow. Don't mess what can I do you for? This is Officers the, Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. Shop. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. There we go, so I guess that's just confirmation that he's the uh, gun owner. Open, open, there we go. You better jump in before I run you over, partner. That's right. Go oh, from what side, your friend is dosing. Oh wait, I hit the uh, destination. How do you... like two streets up and then left. Jesus! 
You do the talking, Cole. Sir. Can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Wait, Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Exactly like uh, someone I no, want to uh, Mr. Kalu with. is out back. He said he'd lie like, down. Exactly. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Duh, what does it look like? Oh, what are you waving at? Run. Kalu! Get back here! Cherry pie was delicious. Come on, just shoot him. Lock him up and throw away the. Wow, did you hear that? They said just Too late, Kalu! Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, I can ever not stop discuss. staring at my arm hair. That God's so mill weird. may like grind slowly, but it grinds up. finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the oh shooting goodness, yesterday. The Irish yes, sir. Guy. Then tell me, Boyle. Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. Tell me, Boyle. How would How you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, some opportunity, Walker, eh? hard evidence, you know? and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Wow, I like it. How are you Bend feeling, man? Fine, sir. Very good. Always. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. The whole thing is not like that. Alright, and I am. Let's see. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. My lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. And let's see. Do okay. The interview. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Liar. Look at that. Look at that. Guilty as hell. Accuse. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Um, evidence. Oh, here we go. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? Oh, you're what? Going to the gas she's chamber, a girl, Edgar. Wow. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me well, alone. The I had a sale. That girl America was ready to buy. Is unreal. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying well, you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. Even this mean. is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> Look at that smug son of a bitch. Alright, and... Okay, and we'll do... It looks like we're supposed to do bad you cop. There we go. Left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, no Mr. Idea Kalu? What half of those words meant. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for but. your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Oof. That's a dumb tie. Look at that. Huh? Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. Oh boy, oh. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Da, 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 da. Da, da. We passed. Sound investigative technique. Proficiency. Peak physical condition. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here, how do you uh Okay. And so we're going to make that the end of our first video.